Hello my friends, Vladimir here and welcome to my channel. In previous video, I teased that I'm going to show you guys a parcel, the content of the parcel which came to me from Denmark. And as you already know from the uh, title of the video, yes, it is booster plug for Himalayan. But first, let's find out what is it for and do you need it or not. In theory, it gives your motorcycle five things. And it is all written here on the box of booster plug. And this is improved and softer throttle response, faster acceleration, removed the jerky low RPM running, stronger and more reliable idle, reduced poofing in your aftermarket exhaust while engine braking and it also called backfiring so let's go and yes in this video we will make an unboxing then i will show you my installation of booster plug on my himalayan we will make a test before and after and my conclusions my thoughts about this product and at the end of this video i hope you will have a clear idea of what to expect from booster plug this video is not sponsored or affiliated by booster plug company even if i had commission or profit it would be 100 percent honest review and by the way i asked them to send me a product to make a review on it and if I liked it, I will pay full price. And if not, I will send it back. So they kindly said no. <laughs> Previously, I was thinking to buy Power Commander. And thanks to Mechanic Bong and Dan Kim from Royal Classic Motorcycle Shop in Sochago in Seoul. A uh, link to this video will be here. They advised me to look at Booster Plug because it is less expensive. It is plug and play. So you don't have to a mess with complicated installation and multiple dyna tests and in my humble opinion Royal Infield Himalayan doesn't need precise uh, ECU fueling this kind of a uh, very precise ECU adjustments because it is not so complicated machine like racing bikes with multiple cylinders thousands of horsepower where every little tweak matters so okay let's start with what is in the box booster plug itself multifunctional seamless wear can be used as balaclava alice band cap and many many more keychain different useful cards and links power commander teasing sticker installation instruction with booster plug sticker and advertisement brochure okay let's dive into the installation process i like tinkering with bikes but i'm not super professional mechanic it can take from five to ten minutes to install this booster plug and you are good to go but if you want to make it right make it proper with attention to details it will take longer than 10 minutes it will probably takes about 15 to one hour depending on your mechanic skills for me it took about more than two hours because i don't like to be in a hurry and that's probably one of the reasons why I bought Royal Infield Himalayan. And filming process also takes time, so let's roll the video. For installation you will need open wrench tool number 10, small hex tool from the kit, side cutters, Z tires, eight pieces. Probably you will need two more for just in case.
First, we need to take off pillion and rider seat to have an access to gas tank mount bolt screws. Then I unscrewed tank bolts and raised the gas tank as much as possible without unplugging connectors and hoses attached to a tank. Then I opened side cover. You probably will not need that because access to the air inlet temperature sensor is located on the left side of air box and side cover doesn't prevent access to the connector. Unplug the connector from AIT sensor. You see guys, this plug is here. Very deep inside. And connect it to booster plug socket. Then connect another booster plug socket to AIT sensor on the airbox. And that was the hardest part for me. Oh yes! Then I laid the temperature gouge wire to the front of the motorcycle where the lowest possible temperature area is. If I put the gouge here in front of the motorcycle, it will have less heat from the motor but there is now another uh, point where it can be located it right here it is after the engine it will get some heat and i think the results will be less than i was anticipated so i will try to put it at the front i raised the gas tank to get access to the this hose here and I want to connect with the zip ties. Don't do it if engine hot. Always made it on a cold engine. Let's make one more zip tie here to make sure that wire doesn't touch the cylinder because it is it sometimes extremely hot. That's it. Quick tip for those who are going to install on their in Royal Enfield Himalayan. I think I would better uh, flip it over. In this position, the controller is flip over. So it is, you know, these wires I are naturally go to AIT sensor. The couch will naturally curve and go into the front of the motorcycle under the gas tank and the third wire will be connected to socket and it will be positioned under the gas tank and that will be probably decently waterproofed at least rainproofed and the socket will be at the highest position as possible and it will be the less vulnerable to the moisture let's test the booster plug before and after and go through all list of booster plug company claimed for their product softer throttle response this is more of a subjective thing uh, more about feeling and it definitely feels more responsive than before remove the jerky low rpm running I've tested on fourth gears with low RPM as possible and it motorcycle feels comfortable at riding out in second gear at 20 km per hour at first gear at 30 km per hour and at fourth gear at 40 km per hour and even on the fifth gear at 50 km per hour. 
and it doesn't feel lagging much. Yes, of course, it is some load on the engine, but it feels much more comfortable than before. One more feature which should be mentioned that it is more reliable on U-turns because on U-turns you have to run at low RPMs or you have to use clutch. I usually use clutch because before installing this booster plug motorcycle wasn't so reliable at low RPMs. It could stall easily and motorcycle will just fall on the side. So, now it is much more comfortable at low speed maneuvering. Stronger and more reliable idle. Truly saying, I don't see any difference uh, before and after. It should be mentioned that before installing booster plug, the motorcycle engine was stalling pretty much often, especially at the beginning when I just bought it, it stalls a lot in idling. Now, after at the end of the running in period, it stalls rarely. I even tried to test idling before it stalls and I even uh, started a stopwatch, but I failed uh, because it was running and at idling uh, more than 11 minutes and I just gave up testing. Engine stalling happens now very rarely. It's about two or one time at three or four days of commuting. So I made the video before and after and you can decide by your own is there any difference before and after or not. Item number four, deduced poofing at aftermarket exhaust system uh, at engine braking. I don't know, because I have installed a factory default exhaust system and it's poofing a lot. And I don't mind actually because I like the sound, but if you have aftermarket exhaust system free flowing, it could probably be a little bit annoying. And the final test is acceleration. I should start with a little disclaimer. Yes, I didn't push to the maximum speed, so the tests are follows. I ran on each gear till 5000 RPMs and till 80 km per hour.
So now my conclusions, my thoughts about this product and does it meet my expectations? So what I think about this product and I tested motorcycle right after installation and big smile was spreading all over my face because motorcycle is what's so fun to ride. It, it was just completely different motorcycle with uh, this Royal Infield features which I like in this motorcycle are you know like more emphasized the acceleration improved throttle is more responsive it just like different motorcycle it sounds different it runs different it's it feels more alive and it's probably subjective but the exhaust sound is became different it much more like true genuine royal infield exhaust sound of classic or bullet style motorcycles especially at accelerating and up hill riding i don't know about downside of these products because i ran about three days two days on it uh, i haven't measured the mileage with um, booster plug installed and i don't know the lifespan of the engine it is reduced or improved i don't know i will probably come with a long-term review of booster plug in the future video but now i like it very very much yes it's a little bit pricey it's 159.99 us dollars but it definitely worth it it makes motorcycle more alive there is a certain minus using booster plug because when you install it you ride it you feel that it needs more airflow and faster free-flowing exhaust so you will probably have to make an investment in these two parts thank you for watching this video and if you like it please give big thumbs up and subscribe for more and i will see you guys and girls in the next video peace